So what is up with NZT48? So NZT48, if you've not heard of it, is a dietary supplement that's promoted to improve your memory and focus and clarity of thinking and basically raise that to heights that you had not seen before. And obviously the name NZT48 is a nod to the movie Limitless and the subsequent TV show that it spawned where an individual took a medication called NZT48 and it essentially made this person a genius. But that's Hollywood. So the question then becomes, does NZT48, the supplement, live up to its limitless name? So the first thing to know here is that NZT48 does not contain modafinil, which is a prescription stimulant medication that's used sometimes to treat narcolepsy. And that's a good thing because here in the United States, it's illegal to put drugs in dietary supplements. And I just wanted to mention that because when I was researching this topic, I came across people who were online saying that modafinil was the real life limitless pill. Let's stick a pin in that for a later date, but let's for a moment talk about the ingredients in NZT48. For the supplement facts label you're looking at here, you can see that each capsule of NZT48 contains 750 milligrams of a proprietary blend containing 23 different ingredients. The first ingredient you see listed is alpha GPC. That makes up most of this proprietary blend, while huperzine A, which is the final ingredient you see, makes up the least of a proprietary blend. So what is the actual research on NZT48? Well, I must say that when I went to the website of the company that makes this supplement, I could not find any clinical research. I found no clinical studies where NZT48 was taken to the lab and compared to a placebo, and that research published in various medical and science journals. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that NZT48 doesn't work. Rather, it just means that we have to look at the ingredients in NZT48 to get a better idea of what might be going on here. So let's take a brief look at some of the ingredients in NZT48 and place an emphasis on research that looked at those ingredients as they pertain to improving memory. So let's begin with alpha GPC, which makes up most of the proprietary blend in this supplement. So alpha GPC comes from choline and choline is a precursor to acetylcholine, which is pretty important for memory. In one clinical investigation, 1,200 milligrams of alpha GPC was given to people with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Those individuals appeared to modestly improve some of their scores on memory tests after 90 days and six months. I also located this next investigation where 400 milligrams of alpha GPC was shown to improve motivation in healthy people compared to placebo takers after just two weeks of use. Next up is EGCG, which is shorthand for epigallocatechin gallate. EGCG is a polyphenol type compound called a catechin, which is found in high concentration in green tea. EGCG has both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. And keep in mind that most of the research, at least that I was able to uncover, didn't actually involve EGCG itself, but rather drinking green tea. And preliminary evidence also suggests that EGCG might be able to break apart the tau protein which can entangle brain cells and is thought to be implicated in the development of Alzheimer's disease. And that brings us to caffeine, which is a very well-known stimulant. However, there is some research that suggests that caffeine may improve memory in healthy people who are extroverts. And while that is encouraging, there is also some research, ironically, that appears to show that caffeine might not improve memory in people who are introverts. And that brings us to guarana, which is actually a source of caffeine. And this begs the question, how much caffeine is actually in? NZT48. I didn't see any references to caffeine content on the company's website that makes NZT48, so I'm honestly not sure. So if you're watching this video now and you know how much caffeine is in this supplement, absolutely leave a comment below and let me know. In one investigation that you're looking at here, 75 milligrams of guarana appeared to improve some aspects of memory, but not others. My personal thoughts? 
I think it's too soon to tell if guarana improves memory or not. And that brings us to benfotamine, which is a form of vitamin B1, which is also known as thiamine. In one clinical trial, people with Alzheimer's disease who took benfotamine for one year appeared to perform better on some Alzheimer's disease tests compared to those people who took placebo pills. Other researchers are actually looking at thiamine itself to see if it actually helps Alzheimer's disease. And while all this is very encouraging, I didn't see any research on benfotamine improving the memory of apparently healthy people who did not have memory problems. Next up is bacopicide, which is a reference to bacoba moniri, which is a plant that I have seen used in other memory boosting supplements. Bacopicides are compounds in the bacoba plant, which are thought to play a central role in its effects on memory. And as I just said, bacoba is fairly popular in the world of memory enhancement because there is some research such as this paper here showing that bacopa appears to improve memory in healthy adults more than people who just took a placebo. Although, to be fair, not all research shows Bacaba improves memory. So to learn more, I'm going to link to my video on Bacaba so you can see more of that research yourself. Next up is ashwagandha, which is popular for a number of conditions. And there's a little bit of research, such as this paper on memory, where ashwagandha was found to improve memory in people with mild memory problems. And while this is interesting, right now there's just not a lot of research out there that I could find on ashwagandha improving memory so I'm looking forward to more studies on this. Now the last ingredient I want to call your attention to here is the final ingredient you see in the NZT48 list and that is Hooperzine A. I have seen Hooperzine A listed in other memory supplements and one of the reasons for this is that there is evidence that Hooperzine A appears to inhibit the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. Remember acetylcholine is pretty important for memory so if you could break down the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine, you are left with more acetylcholine, which in theory may help improve memory. Now, much of the research I was able to locate on Hooperzine A does appear to be directed towards people who actually have Alzheimer's disease and memory problems. And some of that research actually appears to show that it may benefit some people. Now, as for Hooperzine improving memory in healthy people, there's just not a lot of research out there on healthy individuals. However, I did locate this investigation where they combined Hooperzine with exercise and they gave people 200 micrograms of Hooperzine in this study and they found that in at least middle-aged healthy people, Hooperzine did not appear to have any memory enhancing effects. Okay, so, so much for the ingredients. I will circle back in a minute and talk more about them in a second. However, let's talk for a moment about the company that makes the NZT48 supplement. The company is called Limitless X, and this again is a nod to the Limitless movie and TV show. According to the about page on the Limitless X website, they talk a little bit about the history of this supplement and say it was born out of a desire for various researchers to create a supplement that might enhance cognitive ability and memory. And while that's really laudable, one bit of pushback that I would give is why haven't any of these researchers published research on NZT48 itself to see if it's actually better at boosting memory than a placebo. Now to be fair, it's possible there may be something to this because on the surface, many of the ingredients in this supplement do make some sense from a memory enhancing standpoint. And if research on the NZT48 is conducted and is published in a medical journal, I will be sure to do an updated video on this. Now let's switch gears for a minute and talk briefly about how to get a refund on NZT48 if you've purchased it through the company's website. So the company does state that if you purchase this supplement from their website, you have 30 days to get a refund. And they do say that the 30 days begins when it arrives at your home. That's actually good news because in some of the supplements I've seen over the years, the 30 days begins when you order the supplement. I'm glad the company isn't doing that. They're saying no, the 30 days begins when you receive it. However, what makes this policy a little confusing is that on another page of the Limitless website, they actually state they do not accept returns. So do they accept returns or do they not accept returns? Now to get a refund, you have to contact the company first. You have to email the company. They will then send you a return envelope. You also have to show them proof of purchase as well. After the company 
receives your returned items, you will then get an email where they tell you if they approved your return or not. And I want to point out that in addition, they also do state that the supplements you're returning must be in the same condition as you first received them. In other words, this sounds to me like they're not accepting refunds on bottles of NZT48 that are partially opened and you may have already used. However, if this is important to you, do contact a company and see if you can get clarification on this. Now, as for NZT48 side effects, the company states on their website that most people probably won't have any side effects, although they point out that headache and nauseousness are a possibility. And while I'm glad they addressed that, a few things that I do want to throw out to you that may minimize your chances of side effects happening include A, starting with less than is recommended for at least the first week. So in other words, don't just take one pill every single day. Maybe you start off every other day or every second day taking it, at least for the first week. Give your body time to adjust to this new substance that you're taking. Also, if side effects were to occur, because you're taking less, this should minimize those side effects. Personally, I wouldn't recommend taking NZT48 if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. There's just not a lot of research on these groups of individuals for any dietary supplement. I would stop taking it at least two weeks before having surgery. And I would also talk to your doctor first if you're taking any medications at all. So I want to circle back and talk a little bit more about the ingredients in NZT48. So here is a breakdown of the ingredients as they appear on NZT48, along with dosages, amounts of each ingredient that I was able to uncover as they pertain to memory enhancement. Now, as you look at this table, please don't take these amounts here as gospel because it's possible I missed some research. And as you can see, some of the ingredients I couldn't find any proof for, and I annotated those ingredients with question marks. I also want to reiterate that NZT48 has a proprietary blend of all of the ingredients you see here, and those you see at the top make up most of that blend. I also want to briefly mention one ingredient you see here, and that's one you see towards the bottom. It's called Raoul side. This is a stimulant and it's a chemical that's found in the Yohimbi plant. Now, while Yohimbi has various clinical studies showing that it may do a variety of different things, I'm not a big fan of it because it can raise blood pressure and heart rate. That said, I couldn't find any human clinical trials on the chemical Raoul side itself as it pertains to memory or anything else. So does NZT48 really work? Well, I'm pretty confident that it will not turn you into a genius like the NZT uh, you might see in the movies or the TV show. Due to its caffeine content, it's quite possible this supplement may cause people to have uh, somewhat increased energy levels. And there is also some interesting research on various different ingredients in NZT48. However, without clinical trials, it's really not possible to know for sure if NZT48 improves memory in healthy people or how it compares to other memory enhancing supplements.